I'm on the hot seat, like the have ass to spin. If I dip it in the meantime, I'm just saving my hands. I'm on the hustle, trying to get the cash flow. I'm on the hustle, literally ignoring the trolls. I'm on the hustle, so I can have things to spend. If I dip it in the meantime, I'm just saving my hands. I'm on the floor yawning, saying thank you, Lord, for allowing me to wake up to try to get more. Hello, welcome to Shop of Real Estate Sports. We're back at it. This is my favorite thing to do. Like, I live for the sports, the jock market. The Drive Kings, like I always used to play on video games, like college football. They was this thing, the old ones, like 2000, year 2000. They used to have this this recruiting one, which was the best one. Uh, you started off fast. One, like you was in California, like you said, San Jose State. Uh, your recruiting was only in San Jose State. But as you uh, build your team and win more games, it opened it up to like to California, and then opened up to uh, Nevada. It opened up to Arizona. It would just open up as you win more games and move up your star. I like start off on one star prestige, and I remember for the longest I was like when I first started playing, I was real young. I think I had to be like 10 years old. I'm like, man, why does this thing called prestige on here? You know, what is prestige? Like, I never did get that. So I was just like, man, what's up with this prestige? And then I didn't figure out prestige was until I was like, all right, 16, 17. <laughs> it took me a long time to figure out what prestige was. And it's basically your status in the football world. Uh, Prestige, like USC, it's like a five-star prestige because they got the facility, the wins, the record, the Hall of Famers, the uh, trophies, and that, that contributes to prestige. You got a, a high presence in the football field. So that's my story and why I like DraftKings, sports, and like recruiting, management. I, I like all that about sports and building my own team. All right. After that, without further ado, let's look at uh, what's going on with Cyber Real Estate Sports. Let's check right here. Uh, we do have some some wagers, sports wager like uh, on Action Network. Uh, we're doing good today. Uh, Action Network. The bets. Uh, that's our total. We're getting better and better. We're getting our system down. Uh, we down $180. Uh, but yeah, because of getting the season, you know, and we just getting our format down. I saw you how we are wagering in the beginning. At the beginning, uh, we were kind of wild and reckless on our bet. Let me see. First, start off at uh, one player. Uh, it's just like experiment, trial, and error, scientific method. It's like, if you don't know what kind of style you want to do, you, you just try to figure out. First, it was overs. I thought overs good. But then the overs just wasn't consistent. Uh, I had an over there. And let's see what it is. Tennessee. But not the over. And the over just wasn't hitting, so I had to make an adjustment on the fly. And I had a that was single games, and it really wasn't paying much, so I decided to do two team parlays. And um, two team parlays, and I liked that a little better because it was a close game on that Washington, look at that Washington State. Oh no, I and I felt Washington and Philly. So we lost that, but it was looking good. Like Philly was up and then they just smoked it at the end. And I said, like, okay, I like that. And then I did an experiment the next day. Uh I just missed it with uh hockey and basketball. And uh it was close. Like it was close. One team we had the blowout. And the Cleveland, uh, they was in it down to a stretch. And that's lost at the end, so you you got a good little system going into it like that. And then I just started picking one sport, uh, one of them won overtime, and the other one was in a in a hunt and winning. So that's good when your wager are kind of close. So 
I said, all right, I like that. I can you do that? And I like the same sport. It should work a little better. But you can't cross sport it as well. And I was like, all right. So that's not that bad. And then I had the, uh, the wager kind of close, like minus seven to minus three. The favorite team to beat the uh, underdog. So I was liking that. And then the next day, it was starting to get hot. I uh, had Boston and LA Clippers, and they both won. And then the next day, I went, uh, say, sport. It was, what day was that? Yeah, it was college basketball. Yeah, college basketball. So I went two of those. I just do whatever sport is the hottest. Uh, not necessarily hot, they're more feature player, feature sport. And this was basically a basketball day right here. And we had a close run, but I went with hockey and the NBA, and we just lost both of them. It happens, but when it's close, it's not that bad. And then another day, we went back at it, and we lost on Dallas. Uh, Luka Dodson just didn't play. That, that just messed it up. Uh, so, yeah, you, you just stuck on that one. So I was like, all right, that's, that's not bad. And then when we started getting hot, uh, we had the L.A. Clippers. They won. And then Sacramento Kings, they won. They won in blowout fashion. And then we had the next day, we had Cleveland. They game went overtime, but then overtime, they just blew them out. So that's what we won. And then again, Indiana, it was, it was, it was rough first quarter, um, but they came back like I knew they would. Cause it was like, man, like wait, what's that last place team? Rocket was two and ten. That so, I means they find a way to lose. And then I think Indiana was eight and five. So it was like, okay, yeah, this this system is working. Uh, I can live with this system. And so we on we've been hot. We on a one, two game parlay street. Uh, and then we got today's looking good. We got today looking good with Kansas and Oregon State. Uh, up double digits in the fourth quarter, so that's looking good. All right, so that's the Sports Ways of Life session. That's how we approach that and getting our uh, winning results now. Uh, let's move on to the jock market. On Drakamai, we're going to make Davis. We're going one one player for the IPL. Like we we just gonna ride it out with that one player, get back to the basics. So uh, how we build on our bank roll, just having one player. So we gotta make Davis there. And then in NBA, we would yeah, make Davis an MVP, but in, in basketball today, we won a bunch of T V towns, uh, cause he was a good price cost opportunity. He was the best one. Like, in B, I was having him, but you see, he's $20. So, that's not going to work for sure. I suggest for $20. All right. NBA here, we went with uh, Simon. We're going to pick Simon. He's in our favorites. Uh, today, I just came up with a new thought. Like, stay away from uh, players that don't shoot well, our streaky shooters, or Lily George, our streaky shooter. Uh, Marklin, he's good, but he's the shooter, which is streaky. We could have got Norris, but he can't score. And Zubat is very good, consistent, but he can't score. So we want Anthony and Simon. And as you can see here, uh, he been having good games, 30 points, been consistent. That's what we want. He's a high percentage shooter. And right there, he he's a big time score. He gets like 24-23, and he can bust out a 35-point game, 40-point game. He's that talented into a high percentage. So that's our logic and the deep end this week and how we got our picks. And we're going back to a basic one player at each sport at each time frame. So that's it for today's episode of Cyber Real Estate. That's our setup for today. See you next episode. Peace. you